Kevin Rudd is failing to stack up as a leader in the eyes of many voters. A news poll out this morning shows Tony Abbott is seen as more trustworthy and stronger. Mr Rudd is viewed as more experienced and more likeable. But voters also rate the PM as much more arrogant than the opposition leader. Uh, it's a hot topic. Let's bring in former Victorian Premier Jeff Kennett in beautiful Adelaide this morning and Australia Workers' Union National Secretary Paul Howes. Jeff, has Labor got it wrong by running a presidential-style campaign just based on the Rudd popularity? David, I think so in part, but I think that's the way federal elections go. I think the big difference this time is Kevin Rudd is not a fresh new prime ministerial candidate. When he stood first time six years ago against John Howard, he was a new boy on the block against a long-serving prime minister and the political pendulum had started to swing. So he was fresh, he was dynamic, he moved around. This time people know who he is, they know of his reputation, they know of his weaknesses. So rather than seeing a fresh new face on the block, they're actually seeing an individual who is probably not as fit as he was then, not as young, not as fresh, and he's uh, up against a candidate who is fresh. He might have been around for a while, Tony Abbott, but he hasn't been Prime Minister, and I think people now respect and, re and see Tony Abbott as someone who's done his apprenticeship, ready to govern. OK, Paul, while Mr Rudd might be more likeable, according to these polls, the perception that we saw there that he's more arrogant is very interesting. That plays into Tony Abbott's hands a bit, doesn't it? Look, I mean, what this poll shows, like all the polls uh, during this election campaign, is that Labor is the underdog uh, in this election and that, that um, Kevin Rudd and the Labor team have the odds stacked against them. Uh, but you are seeing uh, the Prime Minister and uh, the entire Labor team fighting very hard on the issues that matter in this election. I think it's a bit rich uh, to say that um, uh, Tony Abbott's new and fresh and uh, Kevin Rudd's some, somehow stale and old when you consider that you know, Tony Ab Abbott has been in Parliament a substantially longer period of time uh, than Kevin Rudd has. He's been around for a long period of time. I think the interesting thing about this election is that both leaders are known quantities and they're not... Um, new people on the block that uh, aren't known to the electorate. They are people who uh, have been around for a very long period of time, both faced elections previously as leaders of their parties, and that will make this election uh, on September 7 uh, vastly different to many of the ones that we've seen before. Mm, interesting. I think, ahead. can I just say on that, Paul, I don't think Tony Abbott has been seen as a Prime Minister, and I refer you back to John Howard. John had been around in politics for a long time. He'd been leader several times. He wasn't highly thought of before he became Prime Minister. He earned his stripes when in the job. And the same might apply to me. Uh, when I was opposition leader, my ratings were appalling and, and maybe they didn't improve that much. But we're effective governments. I think that's what we're seeing now. We're seeing a, a, an individual in the Prime Minister who's been there, who's developed a reputation, good or bad, against an individual who's done his apprenticeship and is now quite sure. in the minds uh, of the but public. But Jeff, uh, quite I mean, well this is not. This is not. Uh, uh, just one thing on this. Uh, Tony Abbott is no Jeff Kennett, and Tony Abbott is no John Howard. Oh, we please. are dealing with a very a different style of Jeff a, a Kennett, liberal leader. You. That might be the case, but uh, in terms of a political <laughs> leader, uh, I certainly think he's a very different type of man. <laughs> but but I'm, I know you're an intelligent <laughs> man, Jeff, and you know deep down, no, uh, no, we, no, we get on very I'm well, not. guys. We get on very well. I know, I know you do. I love your sense of humour. All right, guys. We'll have to leave it there. We'll catch. Next time. See you guys.